This is driver training for the load track system. First step is the sign on duty. When you do this, you'll be logging yourself on duty not driving and identifying yourself to dispatch. So we'll sign you your load. and put you on the clock. So we've entered our username and our password, and now we're gonna download our information. What it's doing right now is it's retrieving my last seven days logs, it's finding my dispatch, finding my route, and Let's see what we have. First off, we've already done a pre-trip inspection on this vehicle, so we have passed our pre-trip inspection. As we can see on the screen, the previous pre-trip passed as well, as well as the post-trip. We have nothing to add. We have no comments. Everything on this vehicle is flawless. So we will submit the driver vehicle inspection report as is. And now we are logged on duty, not driving. Next thing is going to show us our hours. Uh, we're compliant on our DOT. We have nothing to worry about. And here is our route. Uh, we leave Carrollton Yard at 5 o'clock p.m. Our next stop is in Mansfield at 6. From there we go to Little Rock, Arkansas. Have to be in Little Rock, Arkansas at 2 o'clock in the morning. And we're back here at Carrollton at 8 o'clock in the morning. I like that route. I'm going to take it. So I'm going to load my route. And now I am assigned in dispatch. I have plenty of hours to drive, 11 hours to drive, 13 hours and 59 minutes total on duty, and 69 hours and 59 minutes on my 70, so I have plenty of time. And let's head to Mansfield. We are 12 minutes late leaving the Carrollton Yard. We have 5, let me go ahead and let's leave the Carrollton Yard here. And we're done hooking up to our trailer. So, off we go. So we've identified ourselves at the time clock. We've picked up our route. Uh, we are now 47 minutes early going to Mansfield. It's 29.24 miles to Mansfield, and once we start moving, it will give us an estimated time of arrival in Mansfield. While we're driving, it's going to tell us what our MPG is, uh, both trip MPG and total MPG for the day, as well as we have this fuel gauge down here. That tells us how many hours we have available for hours of service purposes. Anytime we need to drop and hook a trailer, we hit this hook and drop button right here. And anytime we want to look exactly what our route is, the previous screen, that's right here. The screen right here shows us hours of service information, both the recap and the graph. And we drive the truck. When we're done with the route, we've completed all of our tasks. We're back home and we're off the clock. All we do is we hit sign off. Yes, we'd like to proceed signing off. This will take us off the payroll and this will take us off duty. And we're done with our trip and I'm going home.